Hi, welcome for our uh, online training sessions. In this session, we are going to talk about one of the important interview discussion which we had in the last week. The question is, an account receivables model, whenever we create a transaction, customer transaction, can we delete that transaction once we create? Can we delete that transaction once we create or not? If we say once the transaction is created and we cannot delete, what is the workaround? It means uh, in which stage you can go for create a delete option. You can go for delete that particular option. So that, that that's what we are going to talk about right now here. We can delete, but it should be in an incomplete status. For example, the invoice is in complete status. How we can do that? We have to go back again. And uh, we have to make, for example, if your invoice is in complete status, we have to make it as incomplete. And then we have to go for delete. So we are going to see that particular question and answer practically. Let me go to account receivables. If you have a role, your roles and data access, then you will be able to create that. Let's go to create transaction roles here. Then we will choose the business unit here and choose the transaction source and type and the transaction number. Choose the customer. Take it as test and go ahead with the quantity. I'm going ahead with $1,000 and let's go for save the invoice. The moment when we save the invoice, of course, the invoice number will be generated here. After we have the invoice number over here, then we can find the menu options here, which are very, very important. So everybody can go ahead with creating the transaction, but we have to see what will happen. For example, if the invoice is imported from order management module, how you can search for those type of invoices. What is the program to create an invoice for the sales order? Which program we have to use? So these questions are very common when we are applying as an account receivable. Now what system is showing that? This is your invoice number. And what is the status? Incomplete. Of course, if the invoice is in incomplete status, it will allow you to delete. So. The answer is yes, we can delete account receivables uh, transaction, but your transaction must be in incomplete status. For example, we have completed. We have completed. So after completion, only we'll be able to collect the amount from the customer. We'll be able to create a receipt. See, what is the status right now? Complete. If the transaction is in complete status, then we cannot delete the invoice. Even if I go to actions, uh, I'll be able to do the duplicate invoices and I'll be able to review the installments and create accounting transactions and all it can be done. Okay, so now uh, what I'm trying to do is, for example, if at all I would like to go for delete this invoice, what we have to do first? We have to make it as incomplete status. Click on this incomplete status and then we will go for delete. It will allow you to delete the invoice. Over. You are about to delete the incomplete transaction invoice. Do you want to continue? Yes, you would like to go ahead. You have not saved your changes. Yeah, go ahead and th this will be deleted. Okay, so that's how we can do that. If the invoice is in complete status, we can do. So what I've done here is I've taken another invoice which is in complete status. Let me make it as, uh, that's why delete button is there. Let me make it as complete status. Now the invoice is completed and after that we'll go for create accounting entries. We got uh, some error out here. And that's maybe because of uh, the chart of accounting structure issue or something. Yeah, so that might be the reason. It's not an issue. Not a problem. If at all we want to go for create accounting transactions, we'll do it for here. So here another question in the interviews. 
what are the ways we can go for create accounting transactions? There are two ways. One, you can go for create account in draft so that accounting entries will be created. Later, we can go for post it. Otherwise, we can go for post to ledger so that what will happen, system will create accounting entries for your transaction. After that, it's going to post those ledgers, uh, sorry, those journal entries in our uh, GL model, in our GL model. So that's the differences here. Okay. Thank you.